Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, Aisha, uh, for joining me today. Uh, to start us off, do you want to speak for maybe about a minute about who you are and what you're working on? Yeah, my name is Aisha. I am the founder of Moment, which started off as a as a um, which started off as a movement to support mental wellness. Um, I am a big advocate. I myself used to be in a very stressful, intense job prior to starting moment um, and adaptogens and meditation gave me a lot of relief. And so I decided to bring them together in an easy to consume form, um, a drink that actually has adaptogens, good for your ingredients, no added sugar, no preservatives. I started this about three years back during the first uh, part of COVID when things were intense and chaotic and the world needed something like this the most. Yeah. Um, and have been doing this for three years. It's been an amazing journey and really excited about the impact that we're having um, today. That's awesome. And uh, where can people like buy your drink? Uh, is it just through your website or are you guys in uh, locations in, around the country? So you can definitely buy through our website. You can get all the flavors. We do a lot of fun collabs. We just did a collab with Lululemon, Victoria's Secret Pink. So our website is definitely the most comprehensive uh collection of all our products we are available in stores in new york um uh, all the natural specialty stores bodegas cafes yoga studios in new york city yeah cool that's awesome i'll have to i'll have to try it soon um yeah. and uh you participated in the launch accelerator and i think you were in cohort 21 uh when did that take place yeah, that's right. I was a part of launch. Uh, our cohort started in 2022 or oh, 2021. Sorry. Um, I believe that's why it's called 21, um, but I could be wrong. It started in 21, started around May, March, and then it goes on for three or four months. Cool. And uh, why did you want to participate in the Startup Accelerator and uh, which programs were you considering at the time? Yeah, so Moment is my first startup, uh, which is really exciting, but also uh, startups have a way of uh, operating. And I personally think it's important to understand uh, the sort of the startup culture, the mentality. Uh, it's not that you can't do it without an accelerator, but that was my thinking behind doing it. It is also an easy way to get in front of investors and um, get exposure to a lot of them very quickly get your idea tested, vetted, um, and come out of it. It's it's basically an intense three to four month of experience. You get thrown in, you learn a lot, you through investors, through fellow accelerator participants, and you come out of it with like a real solid plan and hopefully investment for most people. Yeah. And uh, I guess like what programs were you considering at the time? Were you considering just launch or uh, what are some other ones maybe you're looking at? I was considering uh, launch and YC. Gotcha. And what uh, stood out about uh, launch? Like, why were you excited about that one in particular? I was excited about launch in particular because, uh, as you know, launch is led by Jason. Um, I personally had met Jason and he tried Moment and he loved it. Uh, so we built a relationship. And for me, that was really important. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of accelerators out there, but having a relationship with somebody who's leading the accelerator just puts a different spin on things. So that was the first reason. And then the second reason I also was excited about launch is because it's a smaller group. And having spoken to a couple of other folks who have participated in the past, they had really good stories about how they build really strong relationships with their cohort. I mean, for me, there, there's hundreds of accelerators out there, uh, yeah. but for me, it needs to create tangible value. Uh, and that was something significant, having other folks who are going to be with me in the journey, who watch me and uh, almost like a, almost like a graduate program. But yeah, so it's so it was it was great that way. There's only eight teams in the accelerator. And we all get to know each other really well. Yeah, that's awesome. And then uh, can you talk a little bit about the admission process? So you mentioned you knew Jason beforehand. Uh, 
did you like just talk with him and he accepted you or did you apply through like the traditional process, which I think is like an online application and then maybe an interview? Oh yeah. What was the admission process? Yeah. So I actually, uh, I didn't know Jason beforehand at a personal level. I knew because he had tried moment and he liked it. Um, yeah. so that's how I knew Jason. Um, and because he liked moment, we went through an interview process with him similar to how a lot of other folks would when you apply online yep. and uh, it went really well. And so um, it was also very straightforward. I like the fact that uh, I, I like the fact that there's no frills and drama attached with it. Uh, spoke to yeah. Jason for 15 minutes. He loved it. He basically just in those 15 minutes confirmed that, hey, love what you're doing, love the product consider it um consider it done right so yeah that for me um indicated to me how the program is going to be going forward as well um there's no drama and there's no like oh you're a part of this program and you got to do all these things it's all about you're in the program let's get rolling so yeah um yeah i like I, li I like that aspect of it and like i said uh, i like the fact that it was a small class that jason personally gets involved with each and every single participant um yeah. which he did which he actually did um so yeah cool and uh do you remember some of the questions he asked you during that 15 minute call uh, like what was he focused on or what was he curious about yeah, so those were questions that are not that that are questions you would probably hear everywhere, which is, hey, what's your pitch? Um, how what is your growth strategy? Um, where do you think you can be in the next two to five years? That's a question that Jason is um, very uh, fond of asking, uh, or he likes to phrase it as, when do you when are you going to reach hundred million? Uh, yeah. and what is the path to it? Um, and then, um, the last question is why should I invest in you as a founder? So those were some of the main questions. And then there is some discussion around that. The, the great thing about Jason and even the entire lunch program is they don't get into too much complexity. They like to keep things super simple and yep. his focus is on being very clear in terms of your what you're what you're presenting your your product your company keeping it simple but making sure that it's effective nice and uh can you talk about like the actual program and what happens during uh the weeks that you're participating in it it seems like it's very focused on fundraising and growth um but yeah i would love to get your perspective yeah, it is, uh, it is very different from other programs in the sense it is focused on fundraising and growth, which again is something uh, very valuable about this program. So the first, I would say maybe the first two, three weeks, your focus, you um, get thrown into like maybe twice a week sessions, talking about overall business, uh, sharing your pitches, sharing your business model, um, all the fun stuff you present it to your mates and Jason and everyone reacts to it. Jason is very direct in terms of his feedback, which can sometimes be very brutal, but I found it very, very helpful that he was, he would say it as he would feel it. And yeah. a lot of times he, uh, you know, for a lot of, for a lot of folks in the program, he had a lot of feedback, so it was really, I, I loved it. And I also, you know, loved watching uh, him not just provide feedback to me, but other folks, because it helped me understand, okay, this is how an investor thinks, because he himself is such a, he invests in so many different businesses. So the types of questions and the types of places you would push people in um, help me understand the overall framing of an in, of like an investor of yeah. that size and caliber. So the first few weeks, two three weeks are that, and then very quickly after. Oh, and then there's a, there is within those three weeks there's a day. It's a four or five hour session where he will go into your business model with each single person and he'll basically tear it apart. Um, like he'll go Excel row by row and like, and, and like really understand why, why your assumptions a certain way, why is it crafted a certain way? 
And again, that's really helpful because it prepares you for what other investors are going to ask. Uh, and so then very quickly after you start getting into room with uh, new investors. And yeah. uh, so basically starting week three, week four, you have twice a week sessions of one hour, one hour uh, each. And uh, there is six to eight investors coming into the sessions uh, per some of them are angels, some of them are VCs, uh, different types of VCs, all the way from, you know, all the way from uh, like the likes of Sequoia to uh, angels who maybe even put in like 20, 30K checks. Mm -hmm. um, and it, that makes the room really interesting because people are coming at it from a different angle. Yeah. Um, so they'll put all these uh, investors together in the room. There's going to be eight or 10 and then all the teams there. And then the teams have three minutes to present. Each team goes one by one by one. Investors yeah. get like one or two minutes to ask questions. And then there is a, a voting session um, where investors will rank all the startups that this or they'll rank one to three, like the, their top three. Mm -hmm. And then based uh, and after that, there is like a 20 minute session uh, where investors can go into a separate room with the startup that they chose in their first, second, third. Mm -hmm. They can decide um, which one they want to go for and they can uh, ask more questions or go deeper into it. Yeah. That session happens um, like eight or 10 times. So you're basically needing uh, eight to 10 investors in every session, eight to 10 times. So you basically end up meeting about a hundred different investors and not just meeting them, you're pitching to them, you're getting their feedback, you're getting the question. You're also finding out what they think of you or your company or your product related to all of a couple of others um, and who likes you, who doesn't like you, why they like you, why they don't like you. Yeah. So you come out of it uh, and then uh, why it's valuable is because you can, after the session, if you if you really hit it off with an investor, uh, they like you, they rate you in the top three, uh, you had like a five minute conversation with them, you can email them right after and be like, hey, love the conversation, let's continue chatting, or they'll email you, you know, whatever the case might be. Yeah. But you can continue that conversation and you it can actually lead to fundraising. It's a really good first step into um, into building that relationship with an investor that might sit on your cap table one day. Yeah. So I saw that you were able to raise money. Can you talk more about like how that actually happened in practice? Was it one of those sessions where you met them in those like eight to 10 investor sessions? Uh, you met with them after and then you scheduled follow ups and then uh, they invest yeah. in your company. Did it happen at like the online public demo day? Maybe it was someone watched that video and they reached out. Um, like yeah. how did your round actually come together? Uh, was it through those connections from launch or yeah. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. So what our case was slightly different. Yeah, we did raise a fair bit of funding through our connections with launch, but we had actually before we started the program, we did end up hitting it off with another um, a strategic investor that was interested in working with us, who then ended up being uh, being our lead in our seed round as well. So um, we found them outside of launch, but um, we also had launch participate uh, along with all their investors through the seed day and a lot of these folks who act, a lot of angels who launched, wanted to raise a syndicate for us. Yep. Um, uh, which means a lot of the angels that liked us in the first, in, in these rounds, they participated um, in the syndicate uh, and then launched raised the syndicate both in the, in the seed round, in the pre-seed round and the seed round and then Jason and launched themselves outside of the syndicate also invested. Um, cool. How it works is that launch is also at the end of, at the end of the program, they're also gauging what is the startup that is getting the most momentum and how are they stacking up? So mm -hmm. not only does it help you get funding from other investors, they themselves will also invest if they're interested. So, 
yeah. actually uh, launch along with all their investors. I've probably invested, you know, uh, maybe a million, slightly more in us so far. Yeah. Uh, it's not enough to lead the round, but it's uh, it's it's a good uh, follow on investment for a seed seed tap round. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome to hear. Uh, you mentioned earlier, uh, Jason is very direct with his feedback, which I think most startups would really appreciate, especially at an early stage. Uh, I'm kind of curious, uh, what was like the most valuable piece of advice that you received uh, through the program from from Jason? Yeah. So for me in particular, I came from the consulting world prior to uh, prior to starting Moment, and uh, as a consultant, I presented a lot um, to a lot of clients, and so it's not like I had not presented it was just my mentality that was slightly different um and so for me Jason was really helpful in shifting my mindset in thinking of how i would present an investment case to a client to um a investor who's starting in a startup mm -hmm. um so that was really helpful for a lot of and everyone had different unique needs and uh, the great thing about Jason is he's so experienced that he can very quickly in the first like 20 minutes of a conversation really understand what are your needs and really hone in and help you there. Um, some people don't like how direct he is, but um, people who can deal with it love it. Yeah. Um, he so for a, for a couple of people, it was about the product. Um, he was very direct about the fact that the product needed changes or their overall story or how they were going to market or literally their business model and saying this is crap i don't like how you're going to the 100 million mark and this needs to change for you to be able to raise funding effectively mm -hmm. yeah. and uh now that you're finished with the program uh how do you still engage with the launch community i think i saw on their website they mentioned uh like monthly check-ins uh with their companies like are you still doing those monthly check-ins or are you engaging with launch uh, in different ways? Yeah. So launch, as you know, was one of uh, it. They ended up being Jason ended up being one of our earlier investors because of everything. And then they also invested through the syndicate and separately through the launch fund. And so launch actually has a fair they're a board member uh for a moment so we they actually do participate in our board meeting so we have that relationship with them outside of that um we um outside of that we are uh we we share a monthly update with all the investors who are invested through launch so that they know what we're up to all the fun things um it has also been super helpful because a lot of the investors at launch, uh, when I do send them updates of what is happening, they'll they'll respond back, offer help, they'll make connections. Uh, one of the investors, whenever he's visiting New York City, he'll text me, we'll meet up, he'll take me out for a nice uh, lunch, which is very nice of him. But, um, you know, we talk about like, he he's starting, he's invested in like a whole bunch of different startups. And so, He'll just share casual advice. I'll share where things are going. So I have a lot of this informal relationships with a lot of different launch investors over the last few years. Yeah. Um, and uh, the last thing is launch has a Slack platform where all the launch founders come together. Um, they can ask each other for advice. There is events and all the fun things that you can go to like city based or uh, whatever that might be. Um, and then Jason also organizes if, like more official events for all the founders so that they can get together anchored around like larger, broader events that are happening. Yeah. Nice. And uh, what advice would you give to someone applying to launch? I would say be very direct, be very simple, really hone into what you're trying to um what is the impact that you're trying to have um launch really likes to get to the bottom of things it's not about the frills it's not about the fluff it's about the core of what you're doing cool and then uh is there anything i didn't ask about that you think is important to know for those uh considering launch i would say that um launch is actually you I thought this going, I, I, I 
this was a perspective that I had going into the program that this is going to be a good accelerator, but yeah. coming out of it and three years or two years uh, after it, I actually think that it was it was the best accelerator, and I do think it is actually better than some of the the more famous accelerators because it gives you that one one on one attention that you need. It actually puts you in room with investors and they have to listen to you not just on demo day but in like small sessions uh which uh really helps you build those relationships in the long term so i'm a huge fan um and i'm also a huge fan of jason and how direct he is i think it's really awesome so definitely cool. recommend awesome uh 